Okay, a jar contains four red, four yellow, and three green jelly beans. If Joan and Jim take one jelly bean each, the probability that they both take a red jelly bean is... Okay, so we've got to take a quick look at this. Um, so the probability of getting a red... Basically, what this is, is, is uh, like we're assuming that like two, two jelly beans are taken here. What we're really looking at is what's the probability that the first one is a red and the second one is a red. So that is the probability that the first one is a red. And we're assuming they're eating these jelly beans, like they're not, I don't know, they're not chucking them out or something like that. So, or sorry, throwing them back in, I should say, because this is what makes this uh, dependent here. It'll be the probability that the second one is red, given that the first one is red. Now, how many jelly beans were there total? Well, it looks like, what do we got here? Four and four is eight and three is 11. So there were 11 jelly beans. So, probably of getting a red on the first one was 4 out of 11. Assuming that that first one was a red, that means there are 3 left over out of 10. Okay? Uh, and so now, when we multiply that through, we're going to get, what do we got here? We're going to get 12 divided by 110. Okay? And that will reduce down uh, to 6 over 55. So right there, 6 out of 55 is the probability that, that they each get a red.